So this video is to show you what happens when you've finished the ribbing on the Kelster hat and you are instructed to turn your work and push the hat through the centre. Um, so I had a request for this, so I just want to outline it here for you. So you're going to turn the work as if you were going to go the opposite direction. And this is where you're going to turn the hat inside out. So now that corrugated ribbing, you can see all the floats, the wrong side is facing you there. And we're just gonna move our beginning of the round marker over to the right hand needle. And then you're instructed to slip the first stitch on the left hand needle as if to purl. And then you're going to split that stitch as you would for a German short row. So you're gonna take the yarn up and over the right hand needle, hold it tight in place there so that the stitch remains split and then you're going to knit this next stitch. And then you'll continue in the ribbing pattern in this direction all the way around the hat until you come back to your beginning of the round marker and then we are going to resolve that double stitch on the next round. Okay, so here I am back at the beginning of the round now, and here is the, the split or double stitch that I formed when I turned the work. So usually for a German short row, you can just knit those two stitches together or purl them together if you were on um, the wrong side of the work. But because we're coming at it from the opposite direction, we kind of have to treat this a little bit differently in order to make it as invisible in the work as possible. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take the first leg and try to only use the tip of the needle for this. It's difficult. And you're gonna knit the first leg of that double stitch, take it off the needle. Then the second leg you're going to knit together with the next stitch on the needle. And again, try to just keep it near the tips there, oops, as you work. So knit those two together and take it off the needle. And then you're just gonna continue in your rib pattern again. And when you come back around to it, hopefully it will look um, you know, as hidden as possible in the work there so that there's not a gap.